Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully all of you guys have a fantastic day today. Get to spend time with loved ones, whether that be family or friends. I know it's been um, somewhat of a difficult year for some people. Perhaps it could be a financial side. Um, maybe you lost a loved one, whether it be a family member or a friend. Um, not always, not going to be the best year for everyone fully realize that, um, but no matter what, just know that you, you're still of great value. You know, as, as hard as it can get, things can certainly always be worse. There's always someone that wished they were in your particular position as hard as some days could possibly feel. Um, some days you're sitting there thinking like, my life is so terrible, I don't have anything, but there's always someone, you know, perhaps below you that's looking at your life and wishing that they could have your life. Definitely realize that. I was actually looking at a picture this morning. Um, I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen. And basically in this picture, as you can see up in the top left-hand corner, there's a very expensive sports car. And that person's sitting in the car and they're looking up the helicopter above and they wish that they could have a helicopter, perhaps even a private jet. Then you have a pretty nice SUV looking at that uh, very expensive sports car and saying, that's my dream car. I wish I could have that car instead of this very nice car that I'm in. Then you sort of have like a older used vehicle perhaps saying, look at that new car, it's very nice. I wish I could have that. Then of course, the next picture you had the uh, person on the bicycle who's having to bike everywhere, whether it's to work or to get anywhere to the grocery store. Obviously very difficult and that person just wishing they could have any car, whether that be a used car or anything at all. Then you have a person at a, a, um, a bus stop who has to walk everywhere or take the bus. Obviously a pretty big inconvenience for them. And in their case, they're just wishing that they had a bike. And then in the very next picture, you have a person sitting in a wheelchair just wishing they had the ability to walk on their two feet. Um, so you can see there's always someone else who wish uh, who wishes that they had your life as hard as some days can be, as hard as some days can feel. It's not always the easiest to have a positive mindset, uh, but just know there's always someone who would love to have your life as low as you think it could possibly be. Always try to keep a positive attitude no matter what. I know it's not always the easiest, but with that said, we are going to go ahead and dive into today's video. Once again, hope you all have a very, very happy Thanksgiving today. Hopefully you have a turkey. If you're a fan of turkey, perhaps ham or another choice of meat. Um, and of course, if you're, if you're a vegetarian, hopefully you have some good sides with that. But in today's video, we are going to be going over the payment schedule for all Social Security beneficiaries in the month of December, which of course is going to bring a payment increase also to certain beneficiaries of Social Security next month in December. And of course, later on this week, we actually have payments going out on Friday. So we're going to dive into that in today's video. But before we go ahead and get into it for today, if you would like to receive up to $18,000 in free stock or $18,000 in free cash. In a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Webull. All you have to do is once you click on that link is just sign up for a free account and then simply deposit at least $100. At that point in time, Webull will be sending you six free stocks worth all the way up to $18,000. Okay, so once again, we are gonna go ahead and dive into the payment schedule for Social Security in the month of December. Some folks are actually gonna be receiving their cost of living adjustment increase next month, which is gonna be very, very huge. Once again, that is gonna be 2.5%. But again, on Friday, there are gonna be some more payments going out. The payments on Friday are gonna be coming a little bit earlier for individuals receiving SSI benefits. So according to USA Today, some Social Security beneficiaries may get an unexpected extra check this month. It's not a mistake, it's more of a quirk of the calendar. A select group of people are set to receive three payments for the month of November due to an oddity of the calendar, which impacted the number of checks sent and the dates they were sent out. Specifically, those who get social security as well as supplemental security income, also known as SSI. More than 7.4 million Americans receive supplemental security income, which provides monthly payments beyond traditional social security benefits to people who may be disabled 
disabled or have limited resources. Because of the way the days of the month play out in December, SSI recipients will receive that monthly payment a bit early on Friday, November 29th, in addition to the two other payments already sent out this month according to a calendar by the Social Security Administration. The oddities in the calendar will continue through 2025, impacting payments distributed in January, February, May, and finally in August. A number of calendar quirks are expected to continue through the new year, which are, sent, are, are set to impact the number of checks each month and the dates they will be sent out. SSI recipients will actually get their first SSI check of the new year on Tuesday, December 31st, 2024, because the first business day in January 2025 is New Year's Day, a federal holiday. And of course, also on that day, that's going to include that cost of living adjustment of 2.5%. So whatever you've been receiving all year long, if you're receiving SSI benefits in 2024, that December 31st payment is going to be right around 2.5% higher. Of course, there might be certain things taken out of your check. You should be getting a letter at some point next month in December from the Social Security Administration that lets you know exactly what to expect for your payments in 2025. Now, the article goes on to say that that same pattern of payments arriving the day before a new month starts will continue into February 2025 because SSI beneficiaries are scheduled to get their March payment on February 28th. But that means SSI recipients will not get a payment during the calendar month of March. SSI recipients will then get receive two checks in May since the monthly payment for that month will be issued on Thursday, May 1st, and the payment for June on Friday, May 30th. Therefore, SSI recipients will not receive a payment for the month of June. The same thing will happen again in August, two checks for that month and September, but no payment for the calendar month of September. So again, we can see the payment schedule up on the screen. Again, on Friday, tomorrow, November 29th, if you receive SSI benefits, you will be receiving your second check this month. You would have been receiving your first one on Friday, November 1st, and then your second one tomorrow on Friday, November 29th. But then you're not gonna be receiving any payment on December 1st because December 1st is going to be on a Sunday. That's why instead you're receiving the payment tomorrow on November 29th, but then you are receiving that payment on December 31st. That's gonna be your January 1st payment coming just a little bit earlier because January 1st is a federal holiday. So that December 31st payment will come with that cost of living adjustment of once again at 2.5%. Then for everyone else in December, on December 3rd, if you started receiving Social Security before May of 1997, or if you receive both Social Security and SSI, your Social Security payment will be paid on December 3rd. Then you're going to be receiving your payment on December 11th if your birthday falls between the 1st and 10th of any given month. If your birthday falls between the 11th and 20th of any given month, you will be receiving your payment on December 18th. That's going to be the third Wednesday in December. And then finally, you're going to be receiving your payment actually on Tuesday, December 24th, if your birthday falls between the 21st and 31st of, of any given month. And then looking ahead to January 2025, the payments are going to be going out on January 3rd, January 8th, January 15th, and January 22nd. And once again, if you receive SSI benefits, your January payment is actually going to be coming in December. However, you are going to be receiving one payment in January. That's actually going to be your February payment coming a little bit earlier. Your January 31st payment is technically just going to be your February 1st payment because once again, February 1st is going to be falling on a Saturday. So you will be receiving your February 2025 payment just a day earlier. Then as far as other things that we can look forward to in 2025 go, whenever Trump is in office, he did promise to a uh, cut in taxes for social security benefits where you will no longer have to pay taxes at the federal level if you are receiving social security benefits. So according to AS, the potential savings are significant depending on income and tax brackets. Recipients could save between $1,500 and $4,000 annually. This change could especially benefit middle income retirees who often bear the brunt of the current taxation system. So once again, we will have to see whether or not Trump 
can get that done. He also promised no tax on tips as well as other things. Of course, most of the things that he is promising will have to be done through Congress. If Republicans control the House, they should be able to get that bill through the House. However, the Senate is going to be much more difficult where they will need at least 60 votes. And right now, Republicans only have 53 seats in the Senate. So a lot of the things that Trump wants to do, it's going to be very difficult to get those through Congress without using something like budget reconciliation where they will only need, let's say, like 50 votes. Uh, and then, of course, they can do the tiebreaker with uh, um, J.D. Vance's tiebreaking vote. But that's all we have for today's video. Once again, hope you all have a happy and good Thanksgiving today, and I will see you in the next one.